that one sign. So I can just copy this one again. Copy it out. Top left as always. One there. One there. One there. And one there. That's not the right one. Yep. You can always do the center line if you want, but I tend not to bother. So this is just give it the right name. It's on the, Just change the layer over again. There we are. So this is road six T H change zero right full stop. Let's copy that one over we'll copy. Road six T H change zero right. Road 68 change 0 left. Road 68 change 0 left full stop. Okay, same again, array path. These four objects. That's the path for every 5 meters as always. Close array. Explode these out and um, well, don't need these ones because it's in a junction. I'll delete them. Don't really need these either. So, the only thing we really needed was these two, which we could just put in, and we need the endpoints as well. So, I'll just copy these. I'll just copy that one for the endpoint road. The end point will be the end point of this. Point that one. Point will be that one. Yep. Road 6 TH end point. End point left full stop. Point left. Road six T H and point right. Six T H and point right. Full stop. Okay, so that's all of these roads labelled up. Let's have a bit of a tidy up. So I don't need these two in here. Don't need these two. Don't need these two. Don't need them two. So delete them off. Don't need them. Four. Delete them. Don't need these down here. Don't need them points. Don't need that one anymore. Don't need that big one anymore. So that's all the points in there. You know, you can export these as they are without height information but I like to put the height information now because it's handy to check back to this model if something's not looking right you can just zoom in and say ah oh, that's the height I used that's the easy and that's the northern but what I like to do now is just add, add, add in the height information and to get the height information you just refer back to your long section so we'll have a quick look through that now if we can so you get all the information from your long section so I'll just go a tape view flip it around so if we just look at road five start off with I've drawn these lines to make it easier so chain is 10 it gives us the alignment level chain is 20 alignment level so all I do is um, I put this into an Excel spreadsheet and I just take off whatever fall it is so on this job it was just a, a cross fall road I'll uh, show if I can if we've got the um, road construction detail view rotate view so so it, it's just a cross all road and you can tell it's a cross all road just from the if we look at engineering layout if we look at engineering layout gullies are on one side right hand side's the low side 
right hand side is the low side of this road so you know it's a cross fault road and it's uh, got a cross fault of 1 in 40 so that works out at um, around 68 mil from the cent from the centre line or 68 mil across the road should I say so um, anyway from these levels given in the long section the alignment level we, I just put this into an excel sheet and it just calculates it out for me so I'll show you what I've done there road level calcs is what I've called it so all I've done is so say we go to road 5 I'll have these next to each one so road 5 I've just put in the data chain is 10 put in the centre line level which is 169 462 169 462 take off um, or plus for the left hand side 68 mil and I take take off 68 mil for the right hand side and uh, just saw my so I just typed in 68 mil up here it's just a spreadsheet so it just kicks it out the levels on the left hand side right hand side for every five meters and I've done this for every road so if we go on to road six which is the longest one it's just easy so chain is 30 we've got change 30 we know the alignment level was 170 426 change 30 170 426 and uh, right hand side left hand side plus 68 mil right hand side minus it so from this information here I just just basically just go along and just um, just type this in simple as that so we go change 10 change 10 right on road 5 which is change 10 right hand side which is 169.393 and it'll be the same for the profile 169.393 let's go to the left hand side change 10 left which is 169.531 do, do this one just double click on it 169.531 and it's just uh, it's just a matter of going around all of these and just fill them in with uh, information from the long section and um, I'll just do that quickly and I'll um, I'll come back to the video once I've got them typed in Okay, um, I'm not going to do them all. I, I'm just, I'm just going to fill them in for uh, Road 5 for now. But I will show you how to export them to a point. But this is what I like to just call the model. So things I'd like to add extra into this model would be things such as the tangent points, which you get from um, your road setting out. So if we look at road setting out sheet 1, I'd want to add these points in. So point... The, the tangent points um, on these radiuses I want to add them in with heights and around here these tangent points and the other thing I'd like to add in is just where the ramps are so top of ramp bottom ramp with levels on but um, I won't do it in this video I'll just show you how to export for now so to export all these points um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a command called at at text which is this one here so if you click that and all you do is go around and select the box you want to export click enter select a template file this is a template file I've made as well but um, a quick way to do it is just to click on it click select similar that selects all of them because I changed the layer select on that well actually importantly the first thing to do is type in region all so it's got all the right coordinates in and then it's 
just select all the blocks. So select similar, select similar, select all of them, and this one select similar. So I've selected all of them. Then I just do a control copy, control C, new drawing, paste the original coordinates, double click the mouse wheel, and these are going to be all the points we're going to export out. And it's just easier to do it this way because you can just go at text, select objects, and I can just do a big, big loop around all of them. Enter. So there's 96 points to export. I made a template file for this called points at text. I'll send you that if you request it. Output file. I'm just going to save this into site plans as um, um, road setting out points setting out points and um, you click save ok and uh, that should export it so if we go back to as file it should be in here road setting out points and it's all in there so it's point id east in northern and the height, so not all the heights are in, but the road I did do, road 5, the heights are in there. So to get this out over into your machine now, you just need to, you just need to open it in Excel. To open it in Excel, you just need to go to Excel Site Plans, or wherever you saved it to, click All Files, select the text document we've just exported out, open it and follow through with this wizard, so next, yep, delimited. So there's a comma separating them, and there's a, an apostrophe. Let's give it in. Click finish. Delete out these blank rows, these blank columns, sorry. Delete, and tidy up a bit. And um, that's it, ready to go straight into the machine. Just if this is going into the machine, just make sure you go file, save as, browse, site plans. Just make sure you save it as a CSV document. So CSV, comma delimited. Save it as that. Yes, keep using that format. And uh, yeah, that CSV document should upload straight into your machine. And you should just have all them um, points, eastern, northern, and heights in there. Ready? And um, that's it. So I just um, so we don't need to save this because all this information is just copied over. So I don't save that. So I, I would save this copy though. So you can keep adding to it, amending it where you need it. But this is um, this is the worker model. So I just save it as road setting out. So I'll just click save, and uh, and um, and that's it for this video. So the only two things you really need are um, exporting points, which is this block which I've shown you, and this template file, which is just that command there. And they're the only two things you need to actually export points in um, AutoCAD LT. Okay, thanks.